Hey what's up guys, Tino here and today I want to talk about one of the most common questions that I get and that is about bloating and gassiness. So first off, if you haven't removed all animal products from your diet, definitely consider you doing so because animal products have a lot of sulfur containing amino acids which can cause a rotten egg smelling type of fart. One study showed that those who are on a meat based diet actually produce 15 times more sulfur than those who ate a plant based diet. And yes, there are people out there who actually study this stuff, <laughs> I know it's it's crazy, right? It's really weird, but yet it's really interesting at the same time. Moving on, the most indigested carbohydrate out there is lactose, which can definitely cause bloatingness and gassiness. Lactose intolerance affects over 50% of the population because guess what? You're not supposed to be drinking milk as an adult. There are so many reasons why we should not be eating animal products like meat, dairy, fish, eggs, but I'm just gonna focus on digestion here. So once you transition to a plant-based diet, you actually may still feel some bloating and gassiness, but that's because the water and the fiber content is so much higher than it is on a meat-based diet. And this is going to be a big change for you. Unless you fall in the 3% of Americans who actually meet the daily requirement for fiber, it's not going to be fun in the beginning. So you're basically going from not even getting 25 grams of fiber a day to eating over 100 grams of fiber a day, which is crazy. Don't try this at home. Instead, increase your fiber intake over time. Maybe start off with white rice over brown rice, which is going to digest way more efficiently for you. Eat smaller but more frequent meals that way you spread out your fiber intake throughout the day and go for some vegan proteins they're gonna give you that familiar sensation and make the transition so much smoother now let's talk about the elephant in the room beans a lot of people will have trouble digesting beans and there are many reasons for this one is that they have indigestible sugars like raffinose and stachyose in them so by soaking your beans you can actually help break down those indigestible sugars and digest beans better sprouting can also help as the process utilizes those indigestible carbohydrates and some other foods that contain indigestible sugars are cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, kale. While these foods are really healthy and you should strive to eat them daily, maybe go easy on them if you're having problems with bloating or gas. Your gut bacteria also play a really big role in this. So if you're coming from a diet where you were eating a lot of cheeseburgers, Doritos, and mac and cheese, you have to give yourself time in order to remodel your microbiome. You literally grow new bacteria inside your gut with the foods that you put in your body. It's pretty amazing. Other things that may be affecting your digestion is aerophagia. Aero, which comes from the Greek word for air, and phagia, which comes from the Greek word for eat. So aerophagia means eating air. There you go. This can happen from eating food way too quickly and consequently swallowing too much air that gets trapped in your GI tract and well, makes it out the other end. This can also happen from eating smoothies as air can get trapped in them. Also try to eat a low sodium diet so your body's not retaining water and I would recommend trying to go for 1500 milligrams or less per day. At the same time, foods that are high in potassium like fruits and vegetables can actually help drive sodium out of the body. Same thing goes with water. I know it sounds crazy, but drinking more water can actually help your body flush out more water. Again, slowly increase your water intake over time. You don't wanna make any dramatic changes that would cause you to get bloated. Also be sure to chew your food well, that way you get enough salivary enzymes around the bolus of food that you're going to swallow that way you help break down the food more efficiently exercise regularly get enough sleep and also make sure you're not allergic to anything i know it's kind of obvious but just want to put that out there have any of you guys suffered from bloating or gassiness on a plant-based diet and if so let me know what you tried what worked what didn't work drop a comment down below give this video a like share it around subscribe for more videos just like this thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video